so it was a hot day i was like flashing you know like just like, i was feeling sweaty so i was flashing and i flashed my tits at the neighbor and i saw that he was looking at me so like we both knew that the other saw each other so i knew that he <laughs> saw my boobs and he knew that i knew that he saw my boobs hi guys so i'm going to be answering some of your questions while we're eating lunch this is what my granny made it is uh cottage pie cottage pie she made it for me and then ashley just bought some kfc so i asked you guys on my instagram stories to give me some questions that you want me to answer and so this is the first one and actually quite a lot of you guys asked this are you indian and i don't know why i keep getting this question and i answered it before but i'm going to answer it again so basically my ethnicity is indian but i am from nationality south africa and we're six generations in south africa so my great great whatever were born in south africa so we both only speak english okay we're supposed to know how to speak afrikaans that was a language we had to learn in school say something in afrikaans okay my Okay, so someone asked, who is the younger sister and who is the older one? Okay, so she is the older sister and she's older than me by four years. And then we have a younger sister and she's younger than me by six years. So 26, 22, <laughs> 16. <laughs> but a lot of people ask also, am I single? So yes, I am single. Are you ready to mingle? No, but I'm <laughs> single. Okay, sorry guys, my nose is just leaking and dying and everything is just leaking. But I'm okay. <sighs> okay, no, I'm not okay. okay. I'm okay. <laughs> well, that's amazing. Thank you for telling us. Where do you get all your energy from? Okay, so I think I was always like this, energy full and... The Why are you lying? What? You should stay in bed all the time. Mm -mm. Well, reality is, Shiv stays in bed till 12 on the <laughs> weekend. And like, doesn't even open the blinds. It's like, you won't even know if she's alive in there. She finds reality. That's she's weird. A, from small, she was a social butterfly and she can't handle not talking to anyone. Okay, okay, I got a juicy question for oh. you. What's something our parents don't know about oh. you? <laughs> I cried a lot. <laughs> I just know my mom's gonna watch this, so yeah. So tell us something, Shiv. Mm. Mm. So Shiv, <laughs> tell us something. <laughs> okay. So the, I'm gonna talk about the night where I got stitches on my eyebrow. Okay. So what happened after going out to the club the next day when I woke up? I was, my blood pressure was too low and everything so I just fainted three consecutive times so each time I got up I just went back down and one of the times I slammed my face and had to get stitches so why it happened was because I well, it is because of my low blood pressure but I didn't say what I did the night before it was dehydrated and low blood pressure because I drank a lot and I blacked out like I can't even remember going to the club I just see pictures and it's like oh that's so interesting but my parents think I had two glasses of wine when I didn't. But how, many, learned, how many glasses did you have? I chugged down a bottle of vodka. Not the whole bottle. Not the whole bottle. But I didn't know my limit then. But now I've grown. I'm a grown person. I've I'm a responsible sense. adult. I'm a responsible adult. <laughs> if you could go back in time, would you change what you wore to prom? Oh, yes. Show picture, picture. Oh my picture. god. Make sure you show picture. I want to show picture of yours Ew. as well. So the next day, we both <laughs> had AP maths, um, like an AP maths class. Like extra maths. Like extra maths. And my teacher was like, I saw you guys' dance dresses. You all look so nice. But I saw some of you guys were black. Why black? It looks like a funeral. I was the only one in my class <laughs> who wore black. What's the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to you? Well, embarrassing things don't actually happen to me. Embarrassing things happen to her, and then she makes me embarrassed. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me explain. <laughs> so, we were at the gym. So, we were lying on gym mats doing our workout. Ab exercises. Ab exercises. And then, she farted. <laughs> and I felt so sorry for her. 
up and I didn't want her to be embarrassed. So I said, oh no, did our mat just squeak? Like saying the exercise mat, like did the exercise mat just squeak? But she didn't play along. She burst out laughing at me. And then all the other people in the studio thought I fought it. Okay, you know what? I was so okay taking the blame. Like, I was like, you know what? I fought it. Things happen. You know, it's the gym. Oh, well, we're okay. Who in their right mind is going to believe a big ass fart was the mat squeaking? So when she said that, and she didn't laugh too. So when I started laughing, the other lady behind me started laughing. We we're pointing at each other, dying, absolutely dying. And I didn't realize that other people really thought she's the one that fought it. Because she still didn't laugh. She just was staring at me like bug eyed, like, because I was trying to support her. I was laughing because it's funny. You laugh at your bad experiences. Okay, but another thing. So basically, when I just moved into this apartment, I didn't realize that when I can see someone like in the other apartment building, that means they can see me too. So I learned the hard way. So it was a hot day. I was like flashing, you know, like just like I was feeling sweaty. So I was flashing and I flashed my tips at the neighbor and I saw that he was looking at me. So like we both knew that the other saw each other. So I knew that he <laughs> saw my boobs and he knew that I knew that he saw my boobs. So I like, was like, and like, you know, it would be okay if like he enjoyed seeing it, like, you know, he was impressed or something. This boy looks scarred. And you know, I don't even know. So he's a person opposite us. I don't even know who my neighbor is who lives next door, but I see this boy all the time. When I'm out at a music festival, I saw him in the middle of nowhere. And the bus stop. At the bus stop, at campus. I see him everywhere. I see, still see him looking across here. And he doesn't want to look. You can see he's one of those people that actually doesn't want to look at us at all. But, <laughs> We cause him stress. Imagine you can see him now. Oh Imagine God. he sees this video. I mean, I'm seeing now. I'm just not. Uh, <laughs> that's you. Just scroll the stuff. I, I think he doesn't think it's me. I think he thinks it was her that flashed him. Because each time I see him now, I'll greet him. I'll say hello, whatever. But whenever it's her, he'll both just go like, like both of their faces, and she makes it so embarrassing for herself. <laughs> she but you will end with me in this situation again. She's embarrassed for me and then now has to like take it out on this poor boy and be like I can't talk to you I can't look at you so she like make sure not to make eye contact it makes him uncomfortable he's an uncomfortable boy so he's uncomfortable but with me who actually did it we're fine I say hello hello how's your weekend good 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 carry on carry on carry on, carry on. Can, I, can I have some beers yeah but I put my mouth on you what did you eat burger mm. just but you didn't backwash mm. What is your most prominent childhood memory? Prominent. Prominent. Okay. Something that scarred me. And it happened on four different occasions. They thought I was my father's. <laughs> <wife>. <laughs> and it this is, is my childhood. childhood. It is. I was 12 the first time it happened. Is that childhood? So that 12 is a child. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so the first time it happened, I was 12, first of all. I always looked older, okay? I was with her. <laughs> With her, my younger sister, and my dad. So that means they thought that <laughs> she's my mother. They thought this big head came out of me. And it happened on four different occasions. And so many times is when I was with my little sister. And like, my little sister and I were six years apart, but like, I see her as my little baby. I would always like, you know, like, oh, you're so cute. My word, let me look after you, let me take you around, whatever. And each time someone would be like, you're so good with your daughter. And I'd be like holding her and be like, oh, I'm like, oh, get away from me. <laughs> Don't even go near me. Daughter, excuse me, ma'am. This is my sister who irritates me 24-7. And I was just like shove her. I was like, do not talk to me, do not touch me. Make sure there's like a 10 meter walking distance. I'll watch you so no one kidnaps you, but that is it. That's where I draw the line. I ain't nobody mother. Mm -mm. I ain't no mommy. Mm -mm. And you know my dad? We'll find anything that embarrasses me funny. <laughs> we find it like the most hilarious thing ever. We'll tell the whole world about it. And I was like, it's not that funny. It's a bit funny. Like, it's like, kind of funny. My mom finds it the most funny. Oh, uh, were we always close? Mm -mm. She, I used to bully her. She hated me. Uh, I always like used to follow her around. I thought she was like the uh, coolest thing ever. Are you gonna? You're gonna break. Okay, my let me hand. hold you a bit. I hate when you hold me. <laughs> I hate when you touch me. But yeah. It's, yeah, she hated me. And now yeah. I'm her only friend. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no. I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> okay, no, it was, yeah. <laughs> wow, my phone. 
I'm sorry, I'm a messy eater. So I ate actually quite a decent amount. Look at that. Okay, she, yeah, see, I ate way more. Thank you, Ababs. Tastes so nice. Thanks, guys. If you have any other questions, we'll do like another video on another stage. But if you want us to answer, so.